recharge zone depletion, also known as aquifer depletion and groundwater depletion, is a condition of declining water levels within the aquifer's structure or recharge zone. Because natural recharging from surface water and precipitation is inadequate to maintain its normal level. Recharge zone depletion is a worldwide problem. It occurs on almost every continent. Recharge zone depletion is a prime example of the tragedy of the commons. As with any other natural resources held in our environment, an offer tends to be viewed by individuals pursuing their own of interest as a resource to be exploited before others are able to get to them. Causes of recharge zone depletion. One of the major causes of groundwater depletion is the pumping of groundwater at rates which exceed the rates of recharge for the aquifers. Effects of recharge zone depletion. Lowering of the water table is the most severe consequence of excessive groundwater pumping because in, in order for water to be withdrawn from the ground, water must be pumped from a well that reaches below the water table. If the groundwater level declines too far, then the well owner must deepen the well, drill a new well, or at least attempt to lower the pump. Also, as water level declines, the rate of water the well can yield may decline also. As a result of lowering the table water and needing to deepen the wells or building a new well, the cost of water will increase for users as it requires more energy and money to acquire the groundwater. Another effect of recharge zone depletion is land subsidence. Land subsidence occurs when large amounts of groundwater have been withdrawn from aquifers or recharge zones. As a result, large cracks and holes are created, which will result in large expenses for the government and the community. In Shanghai, China, because of the depletion of groundwater reserves, Holes start appearing suddenly on streets near railway stations and high-speed rail lines. This resulted in the Chinese government establishing regulations of the use of groundwater to change the rate of groundwater consumption. Deterioration of water quality is also an effect of recharge zone depletion. Deterioration of water quality is caused by the contamination of salt water. This is because all the water in the ground is not fresh water. Much of the very deep ground water and water below oceans is salt water. Under natural conditions, the boundary between fresh water and salt water is relatively stable, but when pumping excessively from aquifers or recharge zones can cause salt water to migrate inland and upward, resulting in salt water contamination of the water supply. Increase in sea level is also an effect of recharge zone depletion. Increased sea level is caused by the accumulative groundwater depletion, which represents transfer of mass from land to the ocean that contributes to the sea level rise. So as water is pumped from the ground, it will soon return to the ocean instead of the ground, which will increase the sea level of our oceans. Other effects of recharge zone depletion are increased magnitude and frequency of floods, loss of wetlands and vegetation, change in the channel morphology, acceleration in erosion gully development, increase in severity and frequency of 
droughts and the loss of wild habitats and the reduction of biodiversity. Solutions to recharge zone depletion A way for nations to reduce their um, recharge zone depletion is to establish regulations of groundwater usage. These policies or laws must enable the recharge zones to recharge at higher rates than the rate of pumping the groundwater out of it so that the recharge zone can recover. Another solution is for farmers to adopt low pressure drop line sprinklers that deliver water closer to crops instead of spraying them in the air. This increases the efficiency of irrigation in the United States from 50 to 75 percent. Some cotton farmers have installed subsurface drip systems which deliver water at low volumes directly to crops or root and will have achieved efficiencies that approach around 100 percent. Another solution to recharge zone depletion is to reverse the trend by injecting water into the aquifers so the aquifers level would not depreciate as water is taken out of it. China is one of these countries that are desperate enough to input water into the aquifers and recharge zones. China is one of these countries that are desperate enough to input water into the aquifers and recharge zones. In the United States, the Ogallawa Aquifer is the nation's largest and most productive. It also makes up three quarters of the High Plains Aquifers and also underlines eight states. Due to the continual use of this aquifer as a renewable resource, which it isn't because it drains faster than nature can recharge it. Geologists fear that the aquifer is dropping lower and lower and that it would dry up as soon as 25 or 30 years. If the aquifer runs out of water, then there will be many new problems that would erupt, such as the destruction of the environment and the economics of farming and ranching in the High Plains area. This is, this is an issue that is confronted in many other countries and states. Change. Change is what must be done to how we use groundwater to turn around from recharge zone depletion. If we don't change, the loss of groundwater would change our society. And within 50 to 60 years, we would not exist on this earth because there is no water for us to drink.